And it's still the breakfast on Plus TV Africa. Uh, usually our conversation, we start off with what's making the rounds, what are Nigerians talking about? Well, however, the Supreme Court had had their hearing and uh, over the narrow redesign policy, the suit that uh, came between some state governments and or governors and the president, Mohamed Buhari, Nigerians will be waiting for the result of the court proceeding uh, come the 3rd of March, as you know, this battle has on be been going on uh, over the scarcity of the Naira for several weeks. Now, it's important to remember how all of this started. The Supreme Court on February the 8th restrained the federal government from going ahead with the February 10th deadline. That's for the exchange of the old Naira note uh, with the new ones. However, the Central Bank of Nigeria refused to move the deadline. So uh, the injunction was, you know, sequel to a suit that was filed by Zamfara Kogi Kaduna State against the Attorney General of the Federation, Malami Abubaka, on the 3rd of February. And uh, you also had the likes of uh, Ikiti, Kanu, Sokoto, Lagos, Ondo, Ogun, Cross River State, that have also joined the suit as co-plaintiffs. Well, I'm also sure that you remember that uh, the President, Mohamed Buhari, last Thursday, during a nationwide broadcast, ignored the Supreme Court's order and extended the validity of uh, the old Naira notes, I mean, to be very precise, 200 Naira notes, insisting that uh, the 500 and 1,000 notes are no longer legal tender. And so the president announced that only 200 Naira notes remain a legal tender up until the 10th of April uh, 2023, while urging Nigerians to deposit their old 500 and 1,000 Naira notes with the Central Bank of Nigeria. The case is sub judiced and that's because it's in court. We can't be talking about it. But looking at the reality is that 200 Naira notes has not been very available. If you walk to the ATMs and, you know, the POS and what have you, including the counters in the banks, I'm not sure you have access. It's just been quite a difficult time to be a Nigerian. And, but however, Nigerians are finding a way to survive. And to some people, they probably might not feel it because they have no business patronizing public transportation. But if you are in that phase, just know that it's almost difficult. I mean, everything seems to be very hard and difficult at this point. But fingers crossed, let's see how all of that pans out. Would there be a different result after the 25th of February? There's been a lot of anticipation and speculation as to having you know, the availability of the notes, be it the old or the new narrative. Not. But it's also important to note that people, uh, a lot of persons are not transacting with the 500 Naira and the 1,000 Naira note. Most people are, because we've seen some videos that have made it, uh, you know, that have been viral as to that regard. But let's move away from that. It's still related to the election issues and matter. The Nigerian Railway Corporation had announced that was on Tuesday that rail services will be suspended from Saturday, February the 25th, and that's because there will be an election. Uh, to Monday, uh, February the 27th. However, the spokesperson of the NROC, Mr. Mahmoud Yakubu, stated that the suspension was to enable Nigerians to exercise their franchise at the presidential and national assembly elections of February the 25th. And so train services have been put on hold from Abuja, Kaduna, Wari, Itakpe, uh, Lagos, Ibadan, and interstate mass transit. Uh, it was stated that the train services will resume on Tuesday, February the 28th. But some people have argued differently as to this order and directive as the fact that elections are, you know, mandatory that, I mean, elections happen every other time. But is it mandatory that you restrict movement of people and what have you and suspend, uh, you know, train services? Uh, still begging for answers that we do not have. But that's the size of it. We take a break and when we return, we'll be looking at the front pages of our national dailies. We ask that you stay with us. Good morning.